Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about Claude Monet, one of my favorite painters of all times and someone who I feel like has been very influential to the School of Art. Claude Monet was a French painter who was born in 1840 and died in 1926. Monet was one of history's most influential painters and is credited for being one of the early pioneers of the Impressionist School of Art. Now I'm going to talk to you about why I chose to make this project about Claude Monet. Monet is well renowned for his depictions of natural scenes. I am somebody who can personally appreciate this as I love the outdoors and all things nature. His artwork gives me a feeling of serenity and comfort, particularly his 1900 piece, The Artist's Garden at Giverny. Now I'm going to talk to you about some of the styles that Monet incorporated into his art. As previously stated, Monet is one of the earliest pioneers of Impressionism. The ideas of Impressionism can be found throughout his works. And Impressionism is defined as a style of art originating in France with a heavy emphasis on the use of light and colors to capture the artist's impression of a given moment. Monet's use of colors are the centerpiece of his work, despite using a very limited array of colors. Now I'm going to talk to you about some of the mediums and techniques that he had used. Some of the mediums used by Claude Monet include oil and canvas, as well as crayons. He used techniques that include broken color in order to add more emphasis to the color that he was so well known for. He was also known for his use of quick brush strokes. Monet also used rich oil paints in order to capture proper colors and light that he so desired. This use of color and light became the hallmark of Monet's career as well as Impressionism as a whole. As he became older, his use of colors began to change due to his ailing health and eyesight. Life experiences such as his travels to Algeria and the death of his first wife also heavily influenced the style of his art. Now let's talk about some of those influences. Monet was undoubtedly influenced by flowers, particularly the water lilies found at his garden at his home in Giverny, France. He painted a whole series on them with a grand total of 250 works of art. Besides flowers, nature as a whole played a huge influence in Monet's work. The style of en plein air emphasizes being out in nature while one paints. This style was taught to him by his mentor and fellow painter Eugene Boudin. Now let's talk about some of the life events that influenced his work. Early in his life, Monet moved with his family from Paris to a small commune in Normandy called Le Havre. Le Havre is a coastal town situated on rugged terrain that inspired Monet's love for nature. Later on in life, Monet was forced into compulsory military service, as all Frenchmen were required to. He was stationed in Algeria, Algeria. While in Algeria, Monet rarely made any new works, none of which survived. However, the influence that North Africa had on Monet was immense. Monet is quoted as saying that the color scheme and light of North Africa contained the germ of my future researches. He returned back to France after his military service, but on July 19, 1870, France went to war with Prussia, along with a collection of smaller German states. This was not a war that France was very successful in, as the newly formed German Empire quickly besieged Paris and defeated the nation within six months. To escape the steamrolling, Monet moved from Paris to London. While in London, Monet painted the Westminster Bridge and was also highly influenced by the museums he saw there. The work on John Constable and J.M.W. Turner had a very clear influence on his use of light. He drew this from their use of romantic naturalism. Following the family's return to France, his wife died of pelvic cancer, causing a notable shift in his work. Her death caused him to focus more on the relationship between his painting's atmosphere and subject matter. Now let's talk about some of the works that he is most known for. Monet is most known for his famous Water Lily series, painting over 250 in the series between 1896 and 1926. Besides the Water Lilies, he also painted works such as Impression, Sunrise, which gave name to the Impressionist movement, though it was meant to be derogatory. He also painted the House of Parliament series in London, and his first wife in Camille, or The Woman in Green. Let's take a look at some of these works. This was the famous Water Lily series that was heavily inspired by his garden and his home in Giverny, France. These were painted during the latter part of his career when he retired there. Now, this is Impression Sunrise, 
the work that gave name to the Impressionist movement. This is his House of Parliament series that he painted while in London. And this is his depiction of his first wife and favorite model. Now let's talk about the influence that Claude Monet had. As a leading pioneer of the Impressionist movement, Claude Monet was clearly a very influential person in art. His school of art came to be one of the dominating forms of art through the late 19th and 20th century. His works inspired artists such as Dutch painter and fellow Impressionist Vincent van Gogh. You can see Van Gogh, Edgar Degas, Vasily Kadinsky, three Impressionists who he is known to have influenced. Now let's talk about the critical success that Monet had. Claude Monet is regarded as one of the most well-known and influential painters of all time today. Most of his critical acclaim came later on in his prolific career. He was well-known in art circles among some of France's most elite and well-known artists. He reached his peak critical acclaim during the 1880s and 1890s after his move to Giverny, France. His pioneering of the Impressionist style is also a good example of his critical success, as people must have seen his work in good light if they had chose to imitate it. Imitation is the highest form of flattery. Now let's talk about his financial successes and how he completely wasted them. Monet's works were very popular among people for a time, and as such, he made a very good amount of money off of them. However, his high-class interest and extravagant lifestyle was costing more than he was making off of his works. Naturally, when you spend more than you are making, you run into some financial troubles. The added financial strain of the birth of his first son Jean did not help much either. His father continued to be unsupportive and refused to help. His financial woes, along with pre-existing depression, caused Monet to attempt suicide. In 1868, Monet attempted to drown himself in the Seine River. Now let's talk about why he was so important to art. As stated throughout this presentation, Claude Monet was one of the pioneers of the Impressionist movement of art. Impressionism would go on to be one of the dominant schools of art throughout the span of his career and afterward. His work in the field would also go on to inspire many more artists. Without the works of Claude Monet, artists like Vincent van Gogh would not have had gone on to paint their Impressionist works such as Starry Night. As an adherent of the en plein air style, Monet also helped to popularize it among other artists as well. The en plein air style is crucial to Impressionism as Impressionism is based on the artist's impression on a place at any given time. Now let's move into some interesting facts about Claude Monet. Monet's struggle with depression had caused him to destroy over 500 pieces of his work. This stemmed from his extreme frustration and feelings of self-doubt over the quality of his work, as well as trauma received in his childhood from his unsupportive father. Before her death in 1879, Monet's first wife, Camille Doncieux, was his favorite person to paint. Unfortunately, she succumbed to pelvic cancer. Monet, in one last act of love, painted his wife on her deathbed. Monet suffered from an eye condition later on in life known as cataracts, causing his eyesight to gradually degrade over time. This became evident in his later works, which have a reddish hue to them due to his inability to perceive ultraviolet light. Later on, he had the cataracts removed through a successful surgery. Monet had a rather unfruitful relationship with his father, a grocer who later turned to the shipping trade in a very prolific career. Early in Monet's career, his mother supported the idea of Monet becoming an artist while his father did not. His father refused to give Monet any form of support so long as he chose to be an artist. Unfortunately, when he was young, his greatest supporter and his mother died. Monet took great pride in his garden and water lilies at Giverny. In fact, along with himself and six other hired gardeners, Monet spent 12 years planting his home's garden and the one that would become immortalized in his paintings. You can see here the reddish hue that was caused by his cataracts and how he later redid it when he had the surgery redone. Thank you, and I hope you learned something today.